Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Man, I am disgusted. I am just literally... I. I don't even know how to put into words what you get from Stephen Jones these days. Stephen Jones has taken over Jerry Jones's Tuesday slot, where you know used to be that we would always get <laughs> Jerry Jones um, isms and things where you'd go, "Hmm." It used to be that Stephen Jones was the quiet one. It used to be when Stephen Jones spoke that you could believe what he was saying. You actually used to think that Stephen Jones was the sane one here in here, that we had the good cop and bad cop. But it's appearing more and more that Stephen Jones doesn't have a clue. Stephen Jones, you know, today, 105 The Fan, we're still, you know, uh, getting all the gist of all the things that he's said today and just trying to understand this and realize when Jerry's gone, we're in trouble. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Stephen Jones is trying to sugarcoat everything that's gone on this off season. Okay. He's literally going through and trying to tell us that the Cowboys are actually in better shape now than they were last year as far as player personnel. He's trying to basically pee on your head and tell you it's raining and that the loss of Randy Gregory, that, you know, that was no big deal. He's saying that Dorrance Armstrong, that, that they're the same guy. He, he is. Now, I'm not going to say that Dorrance Armstrong may not become a really good player. He's had flashes, and truth be told, Randy Gregory and Dorrance Armstrong had about the same amount of snaps. Now, I, I, I'm going to I'm going to give you know try and do this as fair as possible here. These are shout out to Pro Football Focus, um, their player comparison, and this is great because we can actually compare apples to apples here. So in 13 games, Dorrance Armstrong played in one more game than Randy Gregory. Randy Gregory was the starter. Dorrance Armstrong actually had more solo tackles, but you have to understand that Randy Gregory got upfield more. So actual quarterback hits, Randy Gregory had 17 versus 12 for Dorrance Armstrong's. And pressures are like two to one. I'm not going to say that Dorrance Armstrong isn't a decent player. He is. But if you're saying that that's the same, that these things are too equal, you don't have a clue as to running a football team and should be nowhere near running the team. It may end up working out for the Cowboys that Dorrance Armstrong ends up being a great player. I can't say that he won't. But at this moment, where we are at this moment, you can't equate that. And if you are looking from this, the standpoint of saying, oh, well, just, you know, we can just throw a defensive end in here, then you're not an evaluator of talent. And you don't know the difference of what a true edge rusher can do for you. Hence, you shouldn't be making the calls for the team. So when you go through, and just the statement that he made earlier, it, it was like, ah, you know, like in the water boy, you know, every time that she would start talking about the foosball and she'd go, ah, my head hurts. When I listen to Stephen Jones, it's like, ah, my head hurts. Because the more he speaks, the less faith you have. In fact, Stephen Jones, the best thing you could do is not say anything. Because the more you talk, it's like Mike McCarthy. The dumber you sound. And the crazier we are for believing in you guys. So he says, off seasons are not worth Super Bowls or one. And I dare say that's the dumbest crap that I've ever heard. Because the off season is where you build the roster. The season is where you take the roster of the coach the guy you always make the fall guy into the scapegoat or the players. If you don't have what you need to build the car, 
You can't build the car. You can't be on the assembly line and saying, build the car. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Ford, we don't have those parts. Oh, man, it doesn't matter. You got to build the car. Uh, Mr. Ford, we don't have the transmission. You can build the car. But the car ain't going nowhere. You don't have the transmission. Why? Because in the off season, you didn't get the parts that you needed to put the car together. And this is the problem that we have with Stephen Jones. He's literally, it, 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 what drives me crazy is he's got this <laughs> shit eating grin. You know, they used to tell us things like trust the process. Why should we trust the process? What is this process that you guys have done? Because Stephen Jones, you weren't part of the organization when they were winning the Super Bowls in the 90s. And let's be clear here. What brought those Super Bowls was the fact that we traded Herschel Walker and got a whole bunch of picks. The fact that Jimmy Johnson said, we've got to bring in a lot of players and free agents and things to try and find the right mix. The fact that they went out and you didn't want Deion Sanders, you didn't want your daddy to pay Deion Sanders all that money, but it was the Deion Sanders and the Charles Haley's coming in here that won in the Super Bowl. It wasn't just the draft. To turn around and, and basically reconstruct history and say that, oh, well, you, you can't build. How do you know what it takes to build a winning roster? You haven't done it. So to keep coming at us and telling us, oh, well, you know, losing Mari Cooper, you can't pay that. Yeah, you can't pay that. When right now, here's the reality of football. The dynamics have changed. Every wide receiver is looking to get paid. I understand you don't want to pay one, but guess what? Right now, the price of houses are going through the roof right now in my area. They're going through the roof. You can look and say, well, that same house is, you know, costs half as much in, in Alabama. So I'm not going to pay that much for it. Well, then you're going to have to live in Alabama. Because if you want to live up here, you got to pay up here's prices. And the thing about wide receivers are, guess what? You may not want to pay it, but when you start seeing that guys are getting, you know, $30 million on down, just because you don't want to pay it doesn't mean that you can reset the market. You have to find a way, unfortunately, because it's supply and demand. You're demanding, and there's no supply. So we got a big problem, Cowboy fans. When Jerry's gone, when this guy's in charge, when he's the one calling the shots, when he's already told you, when dad's gone, when dad's gone, we won't take as many risks as he did. We ain't taking no risk now. We're in trouble. I hate to say it. We're in trouble, guys. He doesn't have a clue. Whew. Hope you all are having a great day. I am literally disgusted right now. Stephen Jones has me with no faith whatsoever. I will catch you guys on the flip side. And um, you know how it is.